Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Underrail Expedition with me, Bring It Dawn. We need to talk to uh, Big Brett here. Uh, what can I do you for? Um, I've been tasked with helping you with the Hopper Roundup. Very good. So say, have you ever captured a hopper? No. Ah, first go to the storage room. It's the room with two entrances just across the hallway, and get some dog crates. You'll need them to hold your quarry. Getting them inside won't be easy, though. As soon as they sense you're coming, they'll scurry off and crawl through the crevices in the cave wall. So what you need to do is immobilize them before they run away, either with hopper traps, which unlike bear traps will snare them without snapping most of their bones in half, or with throwing nets. Also, if you can handle a crossbow, you could try shooting them with tranquilizing bolts. A single shot will drop a hopper quickly and will allow you to capture it easily. Now you'll find all of these in the storage room, and you are free to take as many as you need. But if you need more than what's in the storage room, then, well, I can only sell it to you. Your hunting ground is the Mushroom Cove. Head south from the Crossroad Watch until you reach a waterfall. Go past the waterfall and take the western tunnel and a cave after it. Now you'll come across a big cavern with a lake. That's the cove. I'll need three healthy specimens. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, I've also sent a young man called Newton to catch some hoppers. It's been a while, so see if you can find him and learn what's taking him so long. Uh, why do you need more hoppers? Looks like you have plenty back there. Inbreeding makes hoppers susceptible to disease. It is necessary to freshen up the gene pool with some new specimens as often as possible. And what is the Mushroom Cove? It's a place where a couple of streams and rivers join up to form a cove. From there, the water flows further down as a Saleritas River, which is joined by other streams and rivers and becomes more and more treacherous as it journeys on. Presumably it leads straight down into deep caverns and ends in a magnificent waterfall, but I'm not sure I believe that. Uh, who's Newton? Well, he's just like you, a newcomer who needs to learn the basics of what it takes for this station to operate. I've sent him to catch hoppers. He should have been back by now, though. I hope he hasn't gotten himself into some sort of trouble. So please, look for him while you're there. Alright, I'll get right on it. So I've already looted the uh, storage room. Can't get there. Okay, and uh, I believe if I go down to medical, we can actually get a free heal. Or infinite free heals, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll do that before we head out, just to be safe. Uh, could you take a look at my injuries? Of course, that's why I'm here. We'll have you fixed in no time. Let him treat your wounds. And voila! Back up to snuff. So I do have these throwing nets, I should probably equip those. There we go. And away we go. So what's most of the west? East. Oh, I guess past the rocks. Then what's west? Because this is north, by the way. East, south, west. Hmm. Let's have that backwards. No, it, no, that's definitely north. That way's always north.
Looks like there's a lot of passages we can blow up with dynamite if I ever get my hands on it. I look at the sign in a moment. I'm just gonna clear out this whole area. West to the junkyard. North Southgate Station. East Camp Hathor. Well, it's this way. Let's go talk to the sentry and see what's going on over here. Halt. Who goes there? Uh, Bron Don, the new guy. He nods and takes his finger off the trigger. Yeah, I recognize you. What are you doing out here? I've been instructed to round up some hoppers from the Mushroom Cove. Am I headed the right way? Yes, yes you are. It's just beyond this passage. Be careful though, as there are side beetles in the cove area. Uh, did you happen to see a young man go into the Mushroom Cove? Uh, Newton's the name. Yes, he went through here recently. I'd say about two hours ago or so. He said he was going to catch some cave hoppers. He hasn't returned yet though. By the way, I somehow got the impression that Mushroom Cove was much closer to SGS. You know, lots of people have been telling me that recently. Newcomers like you. No idea why, though. It's not like the cove has moved or anything like that. He shrugs his shoulders. Strange. Uh, you mentioned Psy Beetles. Yes, Psy Beetles. Nasty buggers. Especially if they are in a group, because that's when they start slinging powerful psionics at you. You know, if you haven't already, talk to old Jonas at the crossroads. He knows a lot about the creatures lurking in these caves, and could give you some important tips. Who knows? It might save your life. In any case, stick to the eastern bank and you should be safe. Nasty buggers. Alright, so what's this way then? Something he says north is Southgate Station. Let's quick save before I go walking in here. To my doom. I guess we'll have to, uh... So it turns out, um... Dexterity is the primary stat for fishing. And it decreases the chance of whatever is on the uh, line to get away. I'll try it one more time, they'll probably call it a, uh, a fishing trip. Alright, we'll just take it. Screw it. Yeah, where does this take us? I am fascinated. Oh. Okay. Well, now we know. Also, I believe that with fishing, like you can catch anything, but again, you're more likely to catch certain fish in certain areas or whatever. Um, but I think that it's actually there's a chance you can catch. Oh. Can I reset him? It's by leaving, come back. Son of a gun. Alright. Try it again. Maybe I don't want to be put into stealth like that. All right, well, I have traps as well. Um, now, where is my dog crate? Actually, you know what? It's 
occupied about it. All right, fine. I'll put it right here. I guess because the uh, the cape hopper ran out, right? Anybody else want some? Well, any more traps, I have to catch the next one with the net. Is he not entangled anymore? Son of a gun. He's not. Alright, let's uh get out of here. And it's an achievement for that that I haven't gotten before. Alright, that's all three of them. So we're done with that. I guess I could kill the rest of them if I wanted to. I really just want to be outside of combat. There we go. Oh, he's hostile. Fine. I guess I do have have two more cages. Maybe I'll try to catch two more hoppers. Since we're here, I mean, no reason to let him go free, you know. And that should get me out of combat. Grab all these mushrooms. So we go talk to Mord over there, or Mordra. So I'm curious about the side beetles. That's fine. I didn't want to capture any of you guys anyway. Why can't I enter or end combat? Son of a gun. Fine. Well, I'm done with combat, so... 
Cave Hopper, go on about your business. There we go. All right, let's talk to this guy, Mordra. The middle-aged man, tall and wide-shouldered, stands by the coast, smoking a cigar and observing the calm water. As you come near, he turns around. He eyes you for a moment, maintaining an indifferent expression, and then speaks to you in a low, raspy voice. Don't stomp around. You're scaring the fish away. You're that guy that I was running tan that was running Tanner's test, right? Ron Don, was it? I guess you got admitted. Yeah, and who are you? The indifferent expression persists. I tell you that, then I'd have to kill you. Just call me Mordre. I'd like to see you try. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> uh, what is this place? It's called Mushroom Cove, but it's basically a big lake where all these little streams converge and form the Celeritas, Celeritas River. It then runs all the way down to the very bottom of the deep caverns. So how's the fishing going? Could be better. I was hoping to catch some deep eels, but I forgot to bring meat. The eels don't care for worms much. Only, or use those only if you want to drown them. Uh, tell me about deep eels. There are many kinds of deep eels. Most are delicious and very easy to cook and eat. The blue eel is everyone's favorite, including me. The further you go down the Celeritas, however, the more dangerous eels you find. It's the very nature of this world of ours. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it becomes. That's a nice cigar you have there. Thanks. Uh, where did you get them? It must have cost a lot. I have ways, and the cost, it's not as much as you'd think. He draws a smoke, and his expression improves. I enjoy smoking here. No one to complain, no one to ask for a cigar. <laughs> Got a spare cigar? <laughs> no. Uh, he draws another smoke. I can't ask him about the, uh... The guy I was looking for? Newton? That's interesting. Alright, let's go this way. Now let's stay on the east side, because he said as long as you stay to the east side, you should be safe from the cybugs. So we'll search the east side first, and then we'll head westward. Or no, this is the, uh, never mind, this is the west. Sorry, I got the directions mixed up again. North is always to the top right, west is to the top left. Yeah, there's a die. Let's quick save, because I don't know how this is going to go. If I had to, uh, guess, I would say not well. I'll let him come to me. You need to chill out, man. No! Alright, fine. Alright, they're pretty tanky. Doing moderate damage to me, which I do not appreciate. And I can't... Oh, there we go. I can guard against his regular attacks, of course. If I see any more, I'll use a health hypo. Like that one. Let's get back. Ooh, some rubble. I do have sprint up, so I can easily get to him. Trilobite fossil. Oddity. A, perfect, a perfectly preserved trilobite fossil. One skill point, so hello. Level up. Alright, so I don't get any feats or um, attributes yet. Next level, I'll get a feat and an attribute point. But for now, we have to settle for 
throwing, melee, hacking, lock picking, mechanics. Now we are not doing biology anymore. The whole reason I had selected biology was for a feat that I can't use anyway. So there you have it. Oh wait, I didn't want to put all of my points into that. Just five. There we go. Oh, what do these signs say? North to the junkyard, south gate station. Okay. Antidote removes up to three stacks of poison. And a periscope part. An old rusty periscope part. Uh, proof that submarines indeed once sailed and perhaps still sail the waters of Underrail. It's worth two experience points. Hot dog. So I saw blood outside of here. There's still blood here, so that makes me think that Newton's probably in here. But I'm really strong. Let me, uh, let me flip it anyway. Warehouse inventory list. Partially readable, but probably very outdated. Uh, two, oh, two experience points again. A traumatic field stabilizer. Oh, it's a component. Never mind. What's my weapon's durability? Oh, yeah, I should probably fix that. Um... be okay for right now. Obviously I have to fix it after this fight, for sure. There we go. Let's get it, letting it get a little close. Side beetle brain. This is a relatively undamaged brain of a side beetle. Plus one experience point. All right, I'm gonna have him come to me. There he is. Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> I was not paying attention to my health at all. <laughs> and that's what I get for not paying attention. Almost die. Another quick save. Probably be a good idea to use a health hypo here. Still on cooldown, so I'm gonna actually chill back here for a second. What is it? Oh, still one more turn for cool. There we go. I should buy the recipe to craft health hypos. So that'll come in handy. Glad they're not grouped up. That'd be a whole other bag of tricks I'd have to deal with. No, oh, an explosive barrel. Hey, it's a Newton in a box. The flare. I'll talk to you in a second, Newton. For now, you just stay right there. Some bottles. Adaptive lens. Hey, 
Insufficient skill. Old diver's helmet. Ooh, two experience points. Old and rusty diver's helmet doesn't look fit for purpose anymore. And a health hypo. So now only one uh one experience away. Hot dog. A terrified man leaps out of the dark corner and begins slashing the air in front of him. His shirt and pants are stained with blood, and you see a piece of cloth tied around his thigh below, with, below which a large wound grins at you. An instant passes, and the man retracts his knife and stares at you. A sigh of relief precedes his words. Ah, you're not a cyborg. Thank goodness. I almost had a heart attack. Are you Newton? Big Brett sent me out to look for you. Uh, you've been out of SGS for a while now. Yes, yes. I'm Newton. Don't even mention Big Brett to me. He sent me to catch those stupid hoppers. I guess I went too far to the west and ran into the, into cybugs. He never told me about them. Why didn't you run away? I did. I started running around. Hey, the bugs surrounded me. I ended up in this place. He clenches his teeth in pain. Ah, and I cut my leg somewhere along the way. I stopped the stupid bleeding, but I can barely walk. Why the hell are we still talking? Can you get rid of all those darn bugs so I can safely get out of here? I can't run, and I most certainly can't fight. Uh, they're all dead. Let's get you out of here. Great, great. I want to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. He rushes past you, dragging his injured leg behind him. Wait for him to limp away. Okay. So if you didn't clear out all the bugs, he would have died. Because he's an idiot and just took off. But that's okay. So we could go straight back, or I could try to find one more oddity before we head back. Which I think is my preferred approach. So they said this is the way to Junkyard, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So if I level up one more time, I can go back and open up that darn locker. So what I'll do is I'll head this way. I guess I could grab more lake mushrooms. There's a mine shroom there. It tells me it's probably a... There's one out there in the center as well. Can I get in the water? I think that I can. It tells me it's probably a cybug over here. Let's quick save. Yep. Let's see if I can take this one out before I get brutally murdered. Ah, uh, critical would have been super great there. Let's see what happens. Nothing good, looks like we're about to die. Yeah, okay. Well, now I know, I should have used a grenade. That turn. Um. I can try to kite him back here. Doesn't matter their range, so it doesn't. I guess that doesn't really matter. I can try to sprint up and throw a grenade that way. Let's see. I'll take that chance. Then, uh, okay, that was stupid. I thought I was gonna do more damage. And I didn't. Alright, let's see if we can, uh, do this this turn. Or this time. I don't know. 
It's fine, and I'm dazed, which isn't great. Oh, that's right, it reduces your action points. Hmm, might be in a lot of trouble here. But I might be, I mean, we're definitely in a lot of trouble here. So I probably just don't, I should probably just run away from this fight. I don't see us uh, coming out on top here. Yeah, let's just go and reload. We're not going to take this fight yet. Oh, also, I mean, I have a choice. Now I can sprint and run. Not a big deal. Yeah, a little too eager. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just head back to the uh, to SGS and turn in the quest I did and get healed up. Let's actually do that before I call it an episode. But there's two things for me to do back here at the lake: uh, go along the southern edge and the um, the southern coast. And oh, let's see what he has to say. Here's the nod, Bron Don. Alright, um, back up to Agronomy. Let's talk to Big Brett real quick and then uh, call an episode. That way I'll be back in SGS so I can deal with uh, inventory and stuff off camera. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, let's see. I got your hoppers. Excellent work. Here's your payment. Uh, so would you like to name them? Uh, sure. So what's it gonna be? Okay. Don't know... I know the name Epicurus. I don't know Schopenhauer and Nietzsche? Nietzsche? Yeah, let's do Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. So be it. Oh, what about Newton? Uh, he ran into side beetles and was forced to hide in an abandoned warehouse just west of the Mushroom Cove. He cut his leg a bit, but he'll survive. In fact, Pascal should be patching him up right now. I told him to be careful, not to wander off too far. I'm well, glad he's alright, and thank you for helping him. Uh, that is... That is all as far as I'm concerned. You can go back to Tanner. Okay, so I get a point here. Boop. Obviously it's going to go to strength right now. Uh, throwing will go up by 5, melee up by 5... Hacking by five, lockpick. I'm gonna save electronics for last just so I don't mess it up. I almost messed it up. I was like, what wait, what am I supposed to be getting? <laughs> Alright, then here, um 
I should have... So Vile Weaponry is the reason I went Biology in the first place, but... I don't need it. Um, Iron Grip is what I got 11 Strength for. But I don't have a shield yet, so is that worth getting right now? Um, I'm gonna go with yes, so when I find a shield I can go ahead and uh, start my build. There we have it. So we finally got Iron Grip. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here. I'm gonna do some uh, inventory management off camera, and then at the beginning of the next episode we'll probably start back over at the uh, the lake section, because I want to go into the um, I want to open up that locker that I couldn't get into earlier. And we have the uh, the side beetles I want to try fighting again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.